We turn now to Heidi Wigdahl facing some rain delays of her own just west of the metro in Delano. We've all heard, don't rain on my parade. But sometimes it does. Right now the rain is going really hard. Not a big fan. It's not good for cotton candy sales exactly, but we're still making it. Sometimes it's hotter than ever. Not today, though. What do you think of the rain? I don't like it. The Delano 4th of July parade started delayed by half an hour. When I got the notification saying that it was uh, delayed till 11, I thought for sure everybody was like going to be leaving, but it was actually people uh, coming from their cars because they were waiting for the rain to stop. So, nope, it's still on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Joe Simonis kept his eyes on the weather. Hopefully that's going to be long enough to get the parade in. The rain did let up, still with a few sprinkles. So far, so good. Wonderful, wonderful. Lots of people. Delano 4th of July organizers say to their knowledge, the parade has never been canceled due to weather. Hi, Mom. 113 entries marched the route through Delano. It's such a big parade and it's so much fun and it's the first time that we've actually been able to bring our kids. These are my kids and grandkids. They staked out the area and we just get to join them. Delano's 4th of July celebration is the oldest and largest in Minnesota. The first known celebration took place in 1857 near Fountain Lake. For many, it's tradition. I grew up in Maple Plain, so it's the next town the other way. So we would come out here every year to the parade. For others, it's all brand new. It's my first parade. <laughs> For those who lined the streets of Delano. Kinda, what? <laughs> yeah, it's not really bad, it's more of a sprinkle. A bit of rain didn't rain on their parade. A blessing, a true blessing. It's a full day of celebrations in Delano with more on the way later tonight, including live music and fireworks. In Delano, I'm Heidi Wigdahl, Carol 11 News.